It is already June, but the Banco Central ng Pilipinas has not yet announced if it will increase the 6.25% interest rate for the bank borrowers this month, just like it has done in the previous months to prevent the inflation rate from pulling rapidly. The objective of the policy rate adjustment implemented by the BSP is to slow the increase of inflation by weakening demand and imposing higher interest rate. But just now, House Ways and Means Chair Joey Salcera has called for the central bank to pause the increase in interest rate. Salcera insists that the government has met the expectation in inflation this May. He said the government should now focus on the suspicious prices of some goods like onions and bread, where the poor Filipinos are affected just like Romeo. Romeo goes to Kadiwa almost every day from Payatas just to buy onion. It was more dito. Oh, oh. Nang magkano? Eh, yung 50 pesos, ganun. Katulad to. 150 isang kilo. Oo. O doon, mga bahigit 200. Dito, 145. Oo. O doon, mga 200 yan. Kabuti nga, kabuti at meron dito. Kung wala, dati wala dito, wahal din eh. Oo. Ngayon, medyo muro konti. Eto, wala. Paano yun? Eh, wala. Wala nang sibuyas. Salser explained, core inflation is still at 7.7%, which reflects vulnerable sectors is still directly affected by high prices of goods. The inflation rate in bread is also higher compared to the government's expectation despite the lowering of its price in the world market, which is at 40.74% of its year-on-year -year rate. Salceda also encouraged the Department of Agriculture to monitor the price of onions, especially as the stack from January and February, harvest is now running out. Following this, Deputy Speaker and Las Piñas Representative Camille Villar filed a House Resolution Number 1024 to reduce the effects of El Nino on different sectors of society. She said even though Pagasa declared the rainy season, there is still a 90% chance to experience El Nino this year. It is also possible to affect the country's agriculture where the next to be affected is the inflation rate. In addition to the agriculture sector, she said that the government agencies in charge of the water resource, power generation and health and sanitation sector should also be prepared. On the government side, National Economic and Development Authority Secretary Arsenio Balisacan said there are interventions mechanism that the government is laying out for the effect of El Nino. They target to maintain or reduce the prices of goods, electricity, and other services. For the short-term plan, NEDA said the continuous supply of products should be ensured especially in the agriculture sector, including the importation of products. Karen Villanda for the nation.